AI Squared. Hi, everybody. Hello. We're AI Squared, once again. The lights just flickered. We're in a new place. Once again. Yes. Always on the move. As usual. I feel like we just all, like, there's not really a place, because it's just always new places. I feel like also that air purifier is maybe creating a buttload of white noise. It's all right. I like white noise. I don't. Hmm. I'm not a racist. Me either. But wait, this show is white noise. That uh -huh, actually would have uh -huh. been a good alternative name. Uh, if I knew how to do the bum bum ching thing, I would on the drum set. There's that's drums right over, over here, there. But I can't do that. You should go do that. Um, no, nah, that's alright. So you went to New York, right? I went to New York. And I'm exhausted. And I got and sick. sick. Both sick. This might be the lamest episode ever. It's possible. So we have Snapples again. Woo! -hoo. I think we probably should have gone with coffee since we're both pretty dead, but the Snapples will hopefully rejuvenate our souls as well mm -hmm. and spark up some good conversation. Spark. Okay, so. Wait, wait, wait. I oh. did it so bad last time. Okay, what's the best way to like get the good sound? Well, generally it's just like, yeah. Okay. Right. Oh, I spilled a little. That was well. intense. I like mine. Oh, Do you like yours? Toothbrushing, not good with this. This is not really that great. Mine is Snapple Apple. Mine's Mango. Good. Okay. Real fact number 932. Hmm. Horses can't vomit. What? I don't know anything more than that. They don't say why. Really? They can foam with the mouth. That they can. They can also run. A lot. Yeah. But not puke, apparently. So, I don't know. What? You know, like when you're sick and then you feel you horrible and you feel horribler and horribler and horribler and then you throw up and you're Siri, like, oh. Can horses vomit? I feel better. Does that mean like horses never get sick Here's or horses never feel better? Shady Oak Riding Stable. Not helpful. You're not helpful. Siri. Yes. All this reliance. Can horses on... throw up? Question mark. Okay, here is what I found. She's not good at this game. Neither are you. What's your fact? I don't. Real fact 717. Mangoes are the most consumed fruit in the world. Dude, you're drinking mangoes. I know, but I don't but know that's if that's not a very true. Cool fact. I don't feel like either of these are true. I'm pretty sure horses can't like, vomit. Like, we, why would they make that up? Okay, but how often do you eat mangoes? All the time. For real. Okay, so there's the like this bountiful basket thing yeah, going yeah. down in in the Motown place, and they include mangoes all the time, and they're super ripe and super fresh and super bananas. Or a super another fruit? Yeah. No, they're way better than bananas. Okay. Well, I'm gonna look into that. Okay. Maybe they include making they're Snapple just drinks in there. The most consumed fruit. Because you don't have to eat the fruit to consume the fruit. It's true. Maybe it's used in like right, lots win. of things, like lotion. Uh, is that consumed? I don't consume lotion. Do you? Know, it goes in like. It doesn't come back out of your body. The lotion I put on my legs this morning is like just. Uh -huh. That's fair. Not coming off. Uh huh. Uh huh. Right. Yep. It's a different kind of consumption. You know what sure. I totally forgot to do? Start the timer. Yeah. You even got it good. set up and everything. Yeah. So I was thinking the other day. Which. Were you? Yeah. I was. Wow. Um. So. Are there like universal times that just totally suck? It's kind of our question of the day, maybe. Hopefully, if we get going somewhere. But I'm thinking like, just forget about AM and PM. Is there like a number on the clock that just generally blows? I thought of one, but do you have one? Okay, but what about army time? Ah, uh, fart. 
Okay, well, in a 12-hour system... Okay. So, um, basically, it has to be bad, generally, in, okay. the, in the daytime and the nighttime. I was going to go with 5, but p.m., that's always good, because that's when you're getting off work, so that True. doesn't work. 2, like, if you wake up and it's, like, 2 in the morning, and you're like, oh, my gosh, I wish I was sleeping, and I'm not... That sucks. And then also, two's like the point in your work day where you're like, oh, I still have three hours to go. For real stuff. So two? Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking along those same lines. I think it's four. Because if you stay up long enough to get to 4 a.m., it's just absolutely miserable. Mm -hmm. If you have to wake up at 4 a.m., it's absolutely miserable. And then usually, like in the afternoon, you're not really starting anything. You're not really finishing anything. If you're at work, like, you're not done with work yet. It's just pretty much horrible. So, my vote is four. In, like, high school, I remember we'd have sleepovers, and if, like, you stayed up till four, you could just sleep the whole next day. And that's the, the that was the best. We can't do that anymore. Nope. It's, it's not a reality. It's, like, physically revolting. Now it's like if you stay up that late, that. you're, like, screwed, because the next day you still have to do stuff. Yeah, two is pretty much and my Your parents max. aren't just going to make you food and let you sleep all day. Right. It's really unfortunate. Yep. So. I agree, though. I think four is probably. Well, all right. So we think four a.m. or p.m. is the worst time of day or Three's night. Three's pretty bad too. Three can be bad. Not as bad, I think. I have to get up really early for my flight for California on Monday too. She's going to California. Not recording any burgers, though. I don't know what's up with that. Okay, I had valid reasons. Okay. Wait, so how early do you have to get up? I think my flight's at like six something, so I have to be there at five something. So In I have to cities? get up at. Yeah, and that's the other thing. Whoa. Hopefully I'll just go Sunday night, but Mitchell's still trying to figure that out. I'm really tongue tied today. I'm so sorry, everybody. Yeah, we're all pretty miserable all of right us. now, so oh, just oh, watch our misery. Enjoy it. Commiserate. Revel in it. Okay, so back in the day when I came back from Spain, my flight <coughs> left at like, I think 7 a.m. And it was a three hour drive to the airport. So yeah, I was up at like four. Okay, so then... And I was super like nervous and like I didn't want to go back and I was like, Ugh. so I didn't really get much sleep anyway. So that's the thing too though. It's like if you leave for a flight like you have to get up at four mm -hmm. and like you travel, I'm going to get to California like 12 something their time. And by 4 o'clock, I'm going to want to go to bed. By 4? No, because it's oh, like 4 Oh, because you've been awake like 12 Yeah, or probably hours okay, or so like 6, like maybe by 6, six 7. Yeah. And that's the crappy thing too. It's like, if you have to get up that early, well, you also need to go to sleep and you can't just... It's just the worst. What's really bad is when you're crossing the international date line, you get all screwed up. All kinds of dates. Mm-hmm. It's either the very next day or... Everything you've been doing that day just suddenly disappears, and you're back to where you started. That really sucks. I've never experienced this. It's lame sauce. We went to China one time. Hmm. True story. Did you smuggle Bibles? <laughs> no, I didn't <laughs> smuggle bottles. You smuggled them? Um, smuggling but we, we did talk go for a little while. Let's talk about, let's get some we did go talk there. about Jesus. You talked about Jesus? Uh, but not in China. We went to Mongolia. Mongolia. Was it, and, was uh, it China was just on the way. And China was going to... What voice are you trying to do right now? I'm not sure. I'm just kind <gasps> of I watched amazing. a movie called After the Ball. Whoa. It's a Cinderella story. Segway much. <laughs> Fuck it <laughs> was. She, she, it's kind of like she was... It was kind of like a knockoff of She's the Man and Cinderella put combined. But it was super good. Cinderella's the man? Yeah, she turned it, she made, she had to act like a boy, so she likes, that was her voice pretty much. She was like, hold on, I'm peaked. Wasn't oh, sorry, bro. Thank you. Hey, what are we at, P.S., in the woods? Alright. Tweet, tweet. Tweets! Best part of our show, when we read other people's funny things, because yeah. we're not that funny. We can't take credit for any of At this. Sammy Rhodes. Oh, jeez. I hope it's the same one you wanted. I don't know. Joint Facebook accounts are the couple sitting on the same side of the booth. Of the uh, yeah, I saw that one. Sorry. It's true. If I interrupt I don't really mind. understand it when people do that. Really? We do. We're cheesy. You, you understand it? We sit on the same side of the booth. No, 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 I'm thinking the Facebook. You don't have joint Oh, Facebook. no, we don't. That's weird. Who does that? 
That's the whole point of the tweet, you weirdo. <laughs> it says, joint Facebook accounts are the couple sitting on the same side of the booth of the internet. Yep, 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 uh-huh. So it's like those people that, it's like, Johnny and Sylvia. Yeah, I feel ya. And you're like, I got wait, one better, what though. if I want to talk to I got just... one better. I got one better. Sylvia. This one goes out to my man, Jay Swed, 22, except he didn't actually tweet it. It's at OMG, that's punny. Mm-hmm. Okay. How come there's Batman shampoo, but no conditioner garden? All right, I thought it was funny. Dang it. I'm not giving you anything on that one. <sighs> at the funny teens. I fake sleep when my family members come into my room so they don't talk to me. I definitely did that growing up. Like, my dad would come in like, Rise and shine and give God the glory. And I'd be like, definitely asleep. Okay. At Fred Delicious. I hate how when it's cold, people moan that it's too cold. And when it's hot, they moan because a dragon is attacking our village. Can you read that one again? <laughs> yes, I will read that one again. Read it again. Wolf. I hate how when it's cold, people moan that it's too cold. Mm-hmm. And when it's hot, they moan because a dragon is attacking our village. Okay. That's really funny. I thought so. Maybe it's just my delivery. It feels like a dragon is blowing on this house right now. I'm like USPS instead like of Like, probably UPS. we're in the mouth of a dragon right now. That was a really good pun. You just totally missed it. At autocorrects. Sorry, I can't go to your party next month. I have a headache. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Wait, how many was that? Do I need another one? One more. Okay. At Bucky Isotope, a horse walks into a bar. The bartender says, why the long face? The horse sues him for discrimination and wins 4.3 million <laughs> and the bar. Aww. Oh, discrimination. Story of the universe. Well, that was it for us this time. Horses can't vomit. Hopefully you do not unsubscribe. And in fact, maybe invite more of your friends to subscribe. Go watch the episodes previous to this. <laughs> <laughs> Where we suck less. <laughs>